Further member statements. The member from Windsor to come see. Thank you, Speaker. Good afternoon. I want to tell you about a good buddy of mine who passed away recently. His name is Athel Stewart. He was a retired educator. At one time, we lived across the street from each other. Just after Gail and I moved in, there was a knock at the door. I go, there's this big guy standing there. He says, welcome to the neighborhood. My name is Athel Stewart. I drink rye and lime ricky. I say, well, come on in. I know I have some rye. I'm not sure about the lime ricky. He says, well, don't worry about it this time. I'll drink whatever you have. Well, that began a friendship that lasted more than 35 years. Apple had a brother, Dr. Ed Stewart. He was Bill Davis's deputy minister, and he uh, served as secretary of cabinet from 76 to 85. They would sometimes plan a political visit to Windsor, coincidentally, when the Jays were playing the Tigers. <laughs> I got to go to one of those games with them at Tiger Stadium, and some kid named John Torrey came with us as well. Athel's wife, Maureen, is a McCoy. So we had the Hatfields and the McCoys living across the street from each other. <laughs> my wife, Gail, doesn't drink. So I put it in my will. I'm leaving my bar and all of its contents to Athel. When we moved around the corner, I gave him my bar. I kept the contents. Athel really liked a good single malt scotch, especially mine. <laughs> he loved to golf, he cheered for the Glasgow Rangers, he always voted conservative until I ran for the NDP. Oh. Oh. Speaker, I love the guy, I miss him dearly. I have his photo up in my office and on my bar at home, my heart goes out to Maureen, Jim, Chrissy, Brad, Sarah, Kate and Christopher and Helen and all the McCoys. Thank you.